Hey everybody, tracing's not always cheating. Today we're going to look at three ways to trace your drawings. There are numerous reasons to trace a drawing. In this case, this pencil drawing needs to be traced onto a clean sheet of paper so that it can be scanned and reproduced as a coloring book page. The first and best way to trace is to use a light box or a light tablet. This is a light tablet made of LED lights. It has three settings. In order to use a light box or a light tablet, you lay your drawing on the tablet first, and then you lay your second sheet of paper, the one that you'd like to trace onto, over the top. It's a good idea to use a piece of tape to keep your sheets from sliding around while you trace. And then you just follow the lines that you can see through your top sheet. Now, since I'm making a coloring book page, I really don't want my line to be that expressive. I want a line that is pretty consistent all through the drawing. So I'm going to attempt to trace the lines that are underneath at an even and consistent speed. That will keep my line from becoming too thick from going too slow or too thin from moving too fast. In the event that you can't see well, you can always pick up your top sheet to look closer at what's drawn underneath. If your drawing, your original drawing is a little bit light, you may need to do so. Alright, so that's using a light box or a light tablet. The second way to trace is to use a window. A window is its own light box. And it's important to find a window that is being hit by the sun. And you do the same thing you did on the light box, but on the window. You put your original drawing down first, and then you lay or tape over your original drawing the sheet that you'd like to trace onto. If you find that you cannot see through your top sheet very well, then you may be using a piece of paper that's too thick, or your original drawing may be too light, or the light outside may not be bright enough on that day. Now there is a third way. It's a little bit more work, but it's a great way to transfer a drawing onto another piece of paper. It's called the graphite transfer method. In order to use the graphite transfer method, you need a sheet of graphite paper. That is, paper that has graphite all over one side of it. And you can buy graphite paper, but I'm making my own. So using a pencil, I just want to try to cover the entire side of one sheet. Now, if you have drawing pencils that are really dark, in this case, you may not want to use them. I want to make a transfer, but we're going to make a graphite transfer, which means that we'll need to trace over that transfer with a pen. I could have traced over my original drawing with a pen and then erased the graphite, but the drawing was dark, and we would have maybe seen the eraser marks. Now, using the graphite transfer paper, I'll get a very light pencil drawing that I will be able to erase after I've traced it a second time with a pen. So you're looking at the back of the sheets and after I flip them over what you'll see is that the original drawing is on top and the paper I want to trace onto is on the bottom. That's different from the previous two methods that we looked at. Now I'm going to take my graphite transfer paper and sandwich it between the original drawing and the paper I'm tracing onto with the dark side down. So the side of the graphite sheet of paper that is actually covered in graphite is touching the piece of paper that I'm tracing onto. Now, with moderate to heavy pressure, 
I will retrace my original drawing. I'm drawing on top of the original drawing. And as long as I bear down with enough pressure, a very, very light pencil version of this butterfly will transfer onto the sheet of paper that I want to transfer my drawing onto. Now it is more work because I had to make a piece of graphite paper and now I'm tracing my drawing and then I'll have to trace the transfer again. So it's really two tracings instead of one. But once you have a piece of graphite transfer paper that you've made, you can use it over and over. It really never wears out. Let's see how, let's see how we're doing here. So if I remove the graphite transfer paper, you can see a very, very light butterfly in graphite on the piece of paper that we're transferring our drawing onto. Let's zoom in and see just how light that is. Now I can trace my butterfly with a nice consistent ink line and if we can see any of that graphite left over from the transfer we'll be able to erase it away and no one will ever know it was there. Then when this ink drawing is scanned to make a digital file, only the black ink lines will show up. Again, it's important to try to trace with a consistent speed so that your lines are even in terms of their width throughout. Just a few small marks and our butterfly will be done. There we are. I would wait about 30 seconds to a minute before erasing any stray graphite marks.